Father. Hallelujah, seminaries. It's going to be John the Baptist's coming out of the wilderness. Preaching this gospel again with power and anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible that the Bible shall die. Hallelujah. John goes on. After that, many come to his baptism. And then he saw some of the Sadducees and the Pharisees coming. He looked at him and said, Oh, generation of vipers who want you to flee from the wrath to come. He said, Bring forth fruits, meats worthy of repentance. John wouldn't baptize everything if he didn't have fruits of repentance. He didn't baptize. Repentance has got fruit. And if you've been repentant of your sins, you've got, rep- you've got fruit. And it will be a fruit to manifest to the world that there has been a change made in you. Hallelujah. And John, he said now, then he goes on there. And they said, we be of Abraham. We are the seed of Abraham. He said, God could take of these stones and raise up children on that Abraham. He said, now the axe is laid at the root of the trees. And therefore, every tree that bring forth not good fruit is you down. It cast into the fire. He said, I indeed baptize water unto repentance, but he that cometh back to me is mightier than I. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Who's fan in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. He'll gather the wheat into the garner, but he'll burn up the jack with unquenchable fire. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah to God. We need to tell the world she's going to have to repent. Hallelujah to God. I'm going to say to the church world, we're going to have to repent and turn back to God with all of our heart. Hallelujah to God. It's not just in the four little walls that we are in and we think that we are the church if that's what we think then thank God there's something wrong with us Amen. 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 Hallelujah. hallelujah praise the name of the Lord hallelujah I read that little book last night and it, and it talks about they told me their story of this one brother, his name was David. He went to this brother and sat at him and began to tell him what he saw. He said, I lived half a mile the other side of the Grand, Grand, Grand Sand Station. Hallelujah. He called it the farm. The war house was another half a mile. He said, when I passed the Grand Station that day, he said, he looked out, he thought there was some a tragedy that was happening. But he realized that people coming out of all the world was coming across the ramp into the Grand Station there and they was falling out and under the power speaking in other tongues and the power of God was manifest five, half a mile down the road and they sat around the building for about several blocks around there was a ring of blood all the way around and people come when they cross that blood line they were being, being healed hallelujah people being baptized with the Holy Ghost people are being saved and delivered the Lord was there that day I want to tell you, I never read nothing like that meeting was. Hallelujah to God. And that brother said we would have another rerun of that. If we would have that run, and so one year it went into six nation, and six months it will be evangelized the world, and the church would have been gone down a whole time. But somebody Amen. said, I don't believe it. Praise God. We take the love of whole time. We put the limits of God, and we thank God you can't do nothing. Hallelujah. We are living in the end, God, and hell is the world. Hallelujah. Just young people going up and seeing miracles of healing taking place. This one brother said he walked up to a man, his face was bloody. Man, it's Parson in his face with rotten teeth and bad gums. He walks up to him and began to talk to him. He prayed nothing happened. He said, Do you believe this? He said to him, he, then he, 
yield to it. And he said that time he prayed, his face cleared up. In his mouth come new teeth and his gums was healed. Do you see that today? You hear some wild goose chase somewhere out in another world. God's giving them gold teeth. And God's having gold teeth. And hallelujah, God don't have to give you gold teeth. He'll give you the natural teeth he has. And I want to tell you, I believe the church is going to be healed for it ever leaves us out. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Somebody said, what about the sick of echoes? The way has been made. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. And it's not God's fault if I don't accept it. Amen. Hallelujah. Said he prayed for one brother. I'd reach in the mouth and pull his tongue. Pray for him. Pull it out. Said, can you talk? He said, I don't know where I can. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he found out he could talk, man, he set that place on fire. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. One man had a, bro- a, a, a wooden leg. Pray for him and God give him a brand new leg. And they said, that place went on. Said, nobody preached that night. You want to see God move tonight? That hallelujah, that we'll have to sit back and let God work. Amen. Hallelujah to God. That's what I want to see. Amen. And if the church don't come to that, 99% of the church will be sitting there when the rapture's gone. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, praise God. Somebody said, well, why would that? I believe he's not coming for the lukewarm. He's not coming for those that have lost their first love. He's not coming for those. Hallelujah to God that has denied any part of his glory. Instead of decreasing from this, we better be increasing. Hallelujah. Some of us been in the same old boat for so many years and we don't know where God can do anything or not. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Said this one old sister coming down. And and she was in bad shape, sitting her head a shaking. He prayed for that woman. Her head quickly began to quit shaking. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. She said, can I get up? He said, get up. She got up and she began to dance like some young woman. Hallelujah. Dancing and praising God. Hallelujah to God. He looked around and there she said, I've been waiting. Hallelujah to God. About that time she come out of the house and no man was there. They was all healed by the power of God. I want to tell you today, we won't have to go to heaven on crutches and pains. We won't have to be above a whole shot. Hallelujah to God. I believe before we leave this earth, we will go into a glorified body and live forever and ever in that Amen. body. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to God. I believe what I'm in will be changed from this mortal to immortal. This corruption to put on him corruption. Hallelujah to God. We will be changed in a moment and a drinking of an eye. I don't believe you're going to see a bunch of bodies laying around. The spirit's gone. But this body's going to be redeemed. I have redemption for my spirit and soul. After a while, the full redemption is going to come. I'm going to walk into a glory of my body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got that on the ball. We've got to repent. We've got to repent of unbelief. Hallelujah to God. If there's any unbelief in me, I doubt anything that God want to do. I want to come clean. I want to overcome unbelief. The biggest sin there are in the church world today is unbelief. Unbelief is sin. Whatsoever is God of faith is sin. Hallelujah. So why we have... Hallelujah. It's... it's, it's, they was, we was in a service one time and there was a prophecy come forth. The Bible said it's unbelief that ties God's hands. Amen. Jesus went in a place that couldn't do no mighty miracles because of unbelief. Amen. He healed a few sick folk there, but because of unbelief, he was not going to waste his time among the unbelievers. Oh. Unbelievers, praise God, do we believe that Jesus said these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. You know, they say they shall cast out devils and the Bible didn't say they shall cast out devils. The Bible said shall they cast out devils. You make to lay hands on somebody and they'll be healed. But when it comes to a demon possessed person, you better have the goods. Or you may go out of life to the sons of Cephas. You may go out of there toward wounded and everything else. 
Hallelujah to God. The devil know who's got the anointing and who does not have the anointing. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah to God. You can confess all you want to, but the devil knows all about you. Hallelujah. Somebody said the devil don't know nothing. I've heard people say the devil is dumb. He don't know nothing. Praise God. I read in the Word of God. He's wiser than Daniel. And if it's wiser than Daniel, praise God, there are things the devil knows that mean you don't know. Hallelujah. One brother said the devil don't know nothing about the anointing. Hallelujah to God. He had him a bit for, the, uh, for a while. The devil knows more about the morning than you do. He was a morning cherub. He was in the garden of Eden. He was walking up down on the stones of fire. Hallelujah. He was in the holy mountain. The devil was there. Hallelujah to God. That's why he's deceiving the world today. Is because. Hallelujah to God. He knows more about it than we do. That's why the devil can put up a pretty front and deceive the world. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you could see the world today as God sees it, you'd see multiplied thousands heading in the wrong direction and under a name of a religion. We are the religion. God didn't bring religion into the world. He brought a Savior. He sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Jesus didn't bring a bunch of religion into the world. The religious hated Him in His day. And they hate him in our days today. Jesus exists. And Jesus is the Son of the living God. Amen. And if you deny that, you are the Antichrist. Amen. Hallelujah to God. And my Christ will destroy the Antichrist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, if there's anything, anything, between you and God, and you don't repent of that, when you stand before God, right. you'll see a mountain between you and God. Amen. You'll see something there? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way. You know, Peter one time, he said, Lord, if I sin against my brother seven times in the day, must I forgive him? Yeah. You know what Jesus said? Not only seven times, but seven times seventy. 70. Which is four hundred and ninety four hundred and 90 times that we are to forgive our brother if he sins against us. Hallelujah. He said, if he come and sin against you seven times a day, come and say, I've repented, you've got to forgive him. If we don't forgive him, neither will God forgive us of our trespasses. That's right. Hallelujah to God. In the sixth chapter of Matthew, the, I believe it's the 14th, 15th verse of Jesus said, if thou forgive thy brother of thy trespasses, then your heavenly Father forgive you. But if you don't give your if you don't forgive uh, your brother's transgression, neither would he forgive you of your transgression. Amen, that's right. Unforgiveness will keep you out of heaven. I don't care if you cast out devils or what you do. If you got unforgiveness in your heart, you're going to have to get better. When Jesus was dying on the cross, he looked down and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what to do. When Stephen was being stoned to death, he looked up and said, Jesus standing at the Father's right hand. He said, Father, lay not this sin to their charge, for they don't know what to do. In other words, they don't know why. They're killing me, but they're sending me on my journey. Jesus standing at the right hand of God saying, Come on, Steve. Come on, deacon boy. You don't have to deacon no more. Hallelujah. You're going to be with me forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The martyr of deacon, deacon Stephen. He preached a message. Amen. That day, he got down to a place. He looked at him and said, You're stiff necks and uncircumcised and hard. You always do resist the Holy Ghost, even as your father did so to you. <laughs> when he said that, the Bible said he cut them at the heart. And when he cut them to the heart, and when he said, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of God, they stopped their ears and they would scream. They stoned him to death. Hallelujah to God saying we'll get rid of this rebel. We'll get rid of this man. He's a hindered us. You know today hell don't want the church around because we hinder the devil and his plans. Thank God today if we're not a flip a third to the devil today then we're not in this thing. Somebody said well I don't want to be persecuted. You're going to be persecuted and it's coming. Praise God, I said it's coming and if you can't stand it now, get out of the kitchen if you can't stand the heat. 
Alhamdulillah. Today the preachers like they want to be they 